said that it was a humbling game for the defense mm-hmm. and the defense needed to be humbled. Yeah. No, most definitely. Um, you know, collectively, probably like, you know, our, our worst uh, defensive game. Um, you know, just uh, they caught us in bad positions. Um, you know, we, we just got to come out next time, you know, really more prepared, I guess, as a unit. And, uh, you know, just all around, you know, all around had their mistakes today. And um, it, like, like Richard said, I mean, it was a humbling experience and we got to get back to the grind. I can't use the short week as an excuse. You know what I mean. Uh, they got just as much time to prepare for us too. So, you know, I can't use that as an excuse. Um, you know, these guys just gotta, you know, really just hone in, you know, on the details and little things like that. And you know, um, we gotta be better prepared next time we play them because we play them in two weeks. Yeah, is it kind of a good thing that you've got them again in two weeks? You have to definitely, no, most definitely. And uh, you know, the, the best thing about it is, you know, we can get better as a team, as a defense, at eight and out. It's better to be get better at eight and zero than seven and one right now. You know what I mean? You know, you can't can't take uh, the wins for granted. You know, nobody said it was going to be easy. I mean, it's the NFL. You know, it's any given Sunday, Monday or Thursday. So you know what I mean? Uh, it's you know it, you get, you can't take it for granted. You know, you gotta you gotta enjoy it a little bit, but you know it's it's back to the grind. The fact that this team has found several different ways to win is kind of unique. Mm-hmm. What is your take on that? Yeah, um, I mean, a couple a couple years ago, I mean, we were finding ways to lose. You know what I mean? We couldn't find a way to win. And, uh, you know, just to see the growth in this team, you know, it's, it's still a young team. You know what I mean? We got, we got, you know, some older veterans here and there, but it's still a very young team. And um, guys are learning to, to finish those games and find a way to win. Yeah. Richard was, was rather cranky about this game. <laughs> <laughs> got to let him cool off a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, in past years, as you alluded to, I mean, a win was just like, hey, we won a game. Right. But the fact that there's a standard now, like right. this, is, this wasn't acceptable. Exactly. Wasn't acceptable. Yeah, I mean, that's just the standard we have for, you know, as a team for each other. And, uh, but at the same time, like I said, you, you just can't take the wins for granted. You know, it's hard to come by and it's hard to win in this league. And, you know, that's, that's just the standard that we hold for, you know, hold for ourselves. And uh, we know we can get better as a unit. And we're a lot better than what we, we you know, displayed out there tonight. And I mean, it's it's a humbling experience, and uh, you know we got we got time to take care of our bodies and and really get back to the drawing board. You hadn't faced a real mobile quarterback until mm-hmm. tonight. What did his ability to move around? Did yeah, man, he's like a little squirrel back there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just a little, just a little squirrel like running everywhere and everything. So it's you know it's, we got to you know next time we go against him, we got to do a better job with containing him and keeping him in the pocket. And uh, you know, obviously. You know, throughout the week, we learned some of his mannerisms, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, just got to continue to rush and bring the pressure. And, you know, the back end just got to continue to hold up and allow us to get back there. You mean Little Squirrel's a compliment? Take it how you want. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned a chance to get your, your bodies healthy. There's also a chance you'll get some, some guys back uh, yeah, next week. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what's the ceiling? I mean, when, when you get everyone healthy, mm-hmm. that, where can this team go? Yeah, I mean, uh, the ceiling is a, as however how you want to make it, you know what I mean? We, we've been playing really well with, you know, with guys down and everything. And, you know, um, the guys that's been stepping up have been playing, you know, really well. And, uh, you know, to have some of those guys back is going to be definitely, you know, um, you know, very exciting, you know what I mean? That we've been missing them for a couple of weeks. And, you know, the, the fact that we're 8-0 right now without them, um, you know, it just shows the depth on this team. And, you know, the how everybody really trusts in one another to, to get the job done. You mentioned how much need to work on it or whatever, but Jimmy Garoppolo has a game that, that elevates you guys for yes. probably the first time all year. Definitely. Being down about your performance, what's it mm-hmm. mean to, to look? On the no, other? yeah, I mean it's you know, um, you know, obviously we had you know games where you know defense got us out of the hole and the offense got us out of the hole, and tonight the offense, you know, they they play very well. Um, Jimmy had a great game, uh, you know, throw a couple of touchdowns, and you know they moved the chains when we, they knew, needed to move the chains at the end to get those first downs to you know seal the game, and you know the offense played played great. Uh, special teams played pretty good, and um, you know this. It's just one of those games, you know what I mean? Uh, like we said before, you know, finding a way to win, and the offense found a way to win for us today. Of course, how concerned are you guys about Juan Alexander's? Yeah, you know, every time you have a guy go down, you know, um, you're very worried for him and concerned for him. And, you know, the, the best thing that Quan can do right now for us and for himself is to get, get healthy, you know, figure out what's going on. And, um, you know, we, we know he wants to be out there and he's itching to be out there. You know, he's one of those guys that, you know, he, he's going to give it all he has. And, you know, you know when, when something's hurting, I mean, obviously something's hurting him. So uh, he just needs to get back healthy, and uh, he's going to be missed.
right. Thank you, Depot. All right. Thank you.